What's up, guys? This is The Vinyl Casket, home to the lamest taste. My name is Nick, your host. You can check out my YouTube channel at The Vinyl Casket, where you can subscribe, like, and comment, hit the bell for a ton of more content, including tra uh, movie and TV trailer reactions, uh, movie and TV show reviews, anime and manga reviews, book reviews, haul videos, Album reviews, album rankings, uh, my gameplay is all on Twitch, which I haven't been catch, uh, keeping up with, but this weekend I most likely will. Uh, and then this series of videos, which is my live weekly comic book reviews. So every week, we go to the shop, we grab the books, we read the books, we bag and board the books, we take pictures in the light box for my Instagram, at Vinyl Casket Comics. Then I sit down with you guys and I review them live, put it on YouTube, and then everyone can enjoy it forever and ever. Um, this is a pretty hefty week, I would say. Um, a lot of very heavy in, in independence. Uh, we do independence, Marvel, DC. Uh, quick side note is that I picked up two actual novels this past weekend uh, by Holly Black, a author that I grew up loving. Her modern fairy tale series. Uh, this is her um, Folk of the Air series. I'm almost done with the first book, um, Cruel Prince, and this is the second book, Wicked King, and the third book, Queen of Nothing. There's two other tie-in books and a third book and another book coming out January of next year. Uh, with that, we're gonna get straight into it. We're gonna start off with Source Point Press, a very indie title, a uh, very indie company. Uh, but with a really cool title. Um, this is issue two of volume two of Good Boy. Um, rated mature. Uh, this book, this this issue might have been the best issue yet. Of the, the first volume was only three issues, I think. And then this volume so far, first issue was really good. Uh, made my top picks, uh, over at the weekly roundup on Manny Reads Comics YouTube channel. Uh, every Tuesday we release a video. Um, but this issue blew it out of the water. Uh, the flashbacks, the characterization, the dialogue, the, the art. Everything about this was gruesome and emotional and so good. In such a weird way. Um, I'm going to give this a solid 9 out of 10. Uh, we move on to IDW with issue 130 of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, this is the variant cover. I believe that's the A cover for Good Boy. Uh, this is the variant cover. I think cover B. Um, awesome. Awesome issue. Um, the frogs find out, you know, who Venus is. Bonnie, she was Bonnie. Um, the Triceratops people meet the turtles. All these storylines are coming together. Um, awesome internal art, um, really good storytelling. This has been a really good build up, uh, and there's something going on in the background that's connecting all these weird occurrences that's going to happen. Uh, really good issue, really good couple of issues. Uh, I'm enjoying where this series is going. This is going to get a seven and a half out of 10 for me. Uh, we'll move on to image comics with issue one of Chip Sadarsky's new title, public domain. Uh, a book I picked up just to check it out. Uh, I didn't ex know what to expect. I didn't read really the um, description. But I never would have predicted that this book was what it was. It was just like a realistic like sitcom kind of thing. This These two guys dealing with the fact that their dad created this world famous superhero that's being turned into movies. And their dad just kind of living with the fact that, you know whole company that owns everything and his partner everything kind of turned on him he's there no one really cares about him uh and then one of the sons is a reporter who's forced to try to do an article on the movie that his dad did and he freaks out and punches the star um i really enjoyed it at the beginning of the of it i was like oh i don't i don't like this and then I, towards the end i was like okay i really really like this i can't wait to see the next issue because it ends on a super 
cool cliffhanger with the dad finding out that he actually owns all the rights to everything that has been taken away from him for years. Amazing. Uh, 8 out of 10. Um, issue 2 of 8 Billy Genies was even better than the first issue. Um, super cool concept. Uh, you had a lot more explanation and reasoning and some new wishes happen. Uh, we're only like 8 hours in. Um, I think next issue is eight days. Um, I really liked, you know, the one wish that they brought the the child's father, uh, mother back. Don't know if she was dead or if she's missing or. Um, but really good so far. And the guy's suit, he's going. I don't know why he's got to go to that tavern. Uh, really solid pacing, not too fast, but slow enough where I'm not bored. Um, really good title. I'm going to give it a 8 out of 10. Uh, we move on to Boom Studios with uh, One Shot, a Power Rangers Unlimited One Shot Countdown to Ruin. Uh, I got the A cover and the holofoil. Uh, I'm assuming this is the black Omega Ranger, but it could be the gold Omega Ranger. Who knows? Um, Hollow foil variant. I think this is the B variant. It wasn't like anything hard to get. Um, this one shot was really good. Uh, I was very excited to see Andros introduced in the Power Ranger series, in the main story. Uh, this acted as a really good um, reimagining of his backstory in this post Shattered Grid reality. Um, we get to see a whole brand new original team of Space Rangers that existed uh, prior and leading up to the Mighty Morphin at the same time as the Mighty Morphin. Um, how he got their morphers, how they got their training, um, how they butted heads, how, uh, you know, what happened to Andro uh, Andros and, and Zane. Um, really cool to see it in this interpretation compared to the original show. This was way more detailed, way more original, and really cool. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Also explaining the whole lore behind the gold Omega Ranger, which was, I guess, hinted at in the last issue of Power Rangers. Um, or was it Mighty Morphin? Um, issue 3 of the Vampire Slayer. Uh, this is the bloody... Foil variant. Sorry, it was hard, so hard to get out. Um, they switched the artist again for third time. Oh, third issue. Three different artists, I think. Uh, or at least they went back to the original artist because this is way better than the art on the second issue. This story made way more sense. Uh, it feels like they just completely ignored the characterization and everything that was put in the second issue because Willow seemed just like she was in the first issue. No reference to anything in the second issue, really. Uh, and this is basically because Zane, Xander, and um, Spike issue, where they kind of meet, new origin story, how they meet, which doesn't make sense because they're, like, out of high school. So, like, how would they just meet? But, like, that was really cool. I can't wait to see that storyline. I like the stuff with Xander. Um, really solid book. Really solid so far. Uh, I like the stuff with Giles Bowling. That was really cool. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Um, last Boom Studio book, last independent book, is another one-shot. This is an oversized one-shot, Buffy 79. This is a weird, like, kind of out-of-nowhere kind of title, which is, like, a really unique... Oh, that was in this book. I said the Giles Bowling thing. It wasn't in this book. It was in this book. <laughs> um... Really cool throwaway Buffy world story where, like, if they were in, like, the 90s sitcom. Um, and I liked it. I liked it a lot. I thought it was really well written, really well drawn. I liked Spike's characterization. I liked everybody. Um, it was pretty good. I liked the bowling thing, like I said, the mall stuff, Madam. Oh, what was she? Madam Good. Madam, I 
there was like a villain in here, like a throwaway villain, which was interesting. Um, awesome story. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of ten. Uh, we move on to Marvel with issue three of Spider Man 2099 Exodus. Uh, this is the variant cover with the 2099 border featuring the brand new New Avengers for 2099. Does it say new? Oh, just as Avengers 2099. So, but this is in the book cataloged as the new Avengers because we get to be shown how, uh, like the Brotherhood of Evil or whatever defeated the Avengers, killed them. So this is the new Avengers. Uh, really cool to see the team and the whole thing with Moon Knight and all these different characters and different versions of themselves. I really liked it. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, I'm excited to see where that storyline is going because it's about to wind down. And I know we're getting the X people again soon. Um, issue 4 of She-Hulk. This was awesome. Uh, this book is so good. Rainbow Rowell is such a great writer. Um, starts off with like the Fight Club stuff. Uh, Hulk gets involved. Volcan Volcana is there. Um, that was cool, and then everybody shows up to try to get help from her, and uh, she deal. She's still dealing with um, Jack of Hearts. Uh, I'm really enjoying this series. Lots of different elements and tones, and the way everything's done. And at the end, someone screamed for Jack of Hearts. We don't know who it is because he's they're retracing his steps. Can't wait to see who that was. This is a solid eight out of ten. Um, moving on to DC, we start off with Black Label. The last issue. Issue 12. It's been over a year, I feel like. Of Bat Batman, Catwoman, Batcat, Tom King. This is the Jim Lee variant cardstock cover. I've been getting all the Jim Lee covers. Um, this is a really solid... Uh, no, it wasn't. I don't know why I'm being nice. It was it was a really annoying run that was delayed for no reason. Uh, they threw in a holiday special that I didn't get. That was stupid. The whole thing was holiday themed. It was all Christmas songs. So why why did it need a holiday special? Um, it took way too long. It should have been a year. It should have been once every month. They delayed it multiple times. It took a like almost two years to come out. Um, artwork was pretty good, and that was really it. The story was all over the place. Uh, it was cool to see the wedding in this issue. It was cool to see Superman. It was cool to see Helena, their daughter, as Batwoman. Um, it's cool. Um, where's Damien? You know, where's where's Tim? Where's Jason? Like, things that I was questioning. But whatever. It was pretty solid. Uh, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. His whole Batman run, Tom King, was pretty terrible from what I've heard. Uh, I'm going to give it a 5 Five out of ten. Um, very disappointed because I waited so long for it to finally finish. Um, and then we have issue nine. So all of my DC books this week were cardstock covers. So if I forget to say that, they're cardstock variants. Um, Task Force Z issue nine. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's like leading into the ser into the week. I'm never excited to read this book. And then I read it and I really enjoy it. But then I think about it and I'm like, the series isn't that great. But like, I enjoy it while I'm reading it. Uh, writing's pretty good. It's it's Rosenberg. Um, I just wanted to finish soon. I really just wanted to finish soon. I'm going to give it a six and a half out of ten. Uh, a series that I thought was going to die this week. I thought it was, you know, after the whole uh, Shadow War thing. I thought we were done. I thought these two titles, the next two titles, were going to be dog shit. Um, but with a new writer, Breeson, hopping on Deathstroke Inc. Issue 10. We had a solid new reimagining of Deathstroke's origin story. And it was really, really good. Uh, it was really well drawn. It was very entertaining. I had a fun time reading it. And yeah, I'm going to give it a 7.5, 8 out of 10. It was a really good throwaway, one-shot story. Nothing wrong with it. No reference to really anything else. It was just solid. Um, Williamson returned, though, on Robin 15. Robin 15. We're 15 issues in, right, to the series. Over a year. Um, 
well over a year at this point and it was solid it was good it, art was good we're back on that like really good robin story style that we really enjoyed the first like 10 issues right the, the whole uh tournament thing we're setting up a new storyline uh taking care of the island taking the island for themselves uh him working with hawk and this whole flatline losing its story is going to come up now um i like the thing with his parents kind of it was cool but like it's never referenced in anything else so like does it matter I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. It was solid. It was a solid issue. Solid return. Solid makeup for the last couple of crappy issues. We'll take it. Um, and that's all I got this week. Oh, no, nah, that was a lot. But I went through it pretty quickly, I would say. Um, I don't believe we will be doing a weekly roundup this week. So I'll just go around and talk about my top five, I guess. Uh, we'll start number five with Deathstroke 10. Um, I gotta remember what I even put as my top five now. Okay, that's good. Uh, number four is gonna be Power Rangers Unlimited Countdown to Ruin. Um, with number three being She-Hulk, number two being Eight Billion Genies, and number one being none other than Good Boy. Uh, my disappointment of the, of the week would easily be um, Bat Cat. Uh, my favorite cover of the week is probably going to go... It's, it's hard. I really like... Oh, this was the variant, by the way. So it's either Buffy 97 or that um, Power Rangers variant. Um, but yeah, that's all I got this week, guys. Please check out my YouTube channel for more videos just like this. I have every week for the last like two years. I've been doing comic book reviews. They're all on my YouTube channel. Every week. They're dated. They're sorted. They're all there. Um, you can check out a bunch of my mo uh, TV and movie trailer review uh, reactions. Their live reactions are up there. They're doing pretty well in views. I have a bunch that I'm going to probably do today. Uh, you can check those out. And then this weekend, most likely tomorrow, I will be doing some gameplay on my Twitch at Vinyl Casket. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Vinyl Casket, home to the lamest tastes. Do me a major favor, guys, and stay lame.